guys and welcome back to another video i know you don't get to see this beautiful face often but i thought i'd just come on and just remind you who i am <laughs> no i'm just kidding we're just going to try something out and what i'm going to do is i'm going to see if we could possibly use my 3d stamping mat with acrylic what do you think anyway let's get started Okay, so to begin, I'm going to come in with some perfect cover up and we're going to do a smile line on the middle finger and then I'll use that perfect cover up again on the pinky finger to do a like chevron. So I'm just going to speed this up and then we'll move on to the next part. So we're going to add some colour now and it's time for wine and we're going to do this on the pointer finger as an ombre but we're going to include some glitter as well. So I'm just going to place my red on and blend out the top and make sure that that comes right down to the bottom and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a little bit of clear acrylic and those little bits of glitter which you'll see soon. So I'll just allow you to watch at the moment. So once I've placed all that on, I'm going to come on with the perfect cover up and we're going to go for the cuticle area down and just blend it over the where it meets the red just so that it blends in a little bit. And then once I've done that, I'm going to come in and cap and clear. So on the ring finger I'm going to do an ombre again but we're not going to add glitter this time. This is where I'm going to try out using this 3D stamping mat that I got. So all I'm doing is doing the same as I did on that pointer finger and coming up with some of that reds. And then once it gets to that moldable stage before it sets we're going to come in and press that mat into it and pray that it comes off easily. So all I'm doing is going from one side and pulling it down over the other and I'm just gently pressing my fingers in and then pulling that down and of course it worked, it imprinted that acrylic. How amazing is that? So this is definitely worth buying, I think it was only a couple of pounds, I'll definitely be leaving the link in the description below. I did do a review of this with the gel polishes and pigment, sorry it wasn't gel polish, it was 3D gel so I'll leave that in the description below as well in case you want to go and have a look at that or if you've missed it but this is definitely an amazing product this 3d stamping mat is just i love it i can't tell you how much i love it i just i love it anyway moving on we're going to come in with that perfect cover up again and we're just going to blend that down gently So 
So I wanted to try and bring out that stamped design a little bit more. So I'm coming in with what I call my ombre white, which is just my shinties white, mixed with a little bit of shinties clear, just to go in between all those little cracks and crevices to hopefully bring that design out more. This is my first time trying this though, so obviously next time I would pay particular attention to making sure that imprint is fully imprinted, whereas this time I just went in really fast and tried to do it that way. But it still looks okay, and then after that I capped in clear. Now what I'm doing is I'm just filing into those smile lines that I've done to get a perfect edge and then I'm going to come in and apply more coloured acrylic. So this time I'm using that white that I mixed up again, so like my ombre colour and we're going to imprint this one as well. So I'm just doing the same thing, applying that acrylic to the areas it needs to be applied to, making sure I'm getting right up into those corners. And then I'm going to allow the acrylic to set up slightly so it gets to that mouldable stage. And before it completely sets, I'm going to come in and imprint with that 3D stamping mat again. So again, I'm coming from one side and I'm going to pull that mat over and stretch it down. Now, what you will notice here is obviously with this being my first try, the imprint doesn't go fully from where I need it to be. I've kind of went in a little bit squint with the mat. So I would definitely take your time when you're doing this um, just to make sure that your pattern's going from where you need it to be right to the base of that nail and from side to side. So again, to bring this design out, I'm going to add some colour and we're going in with that time for wine again. And I'm just using it really wet just so that it falls in between all those little cracks and crevices. And don't worry if you get acrylic on that pink because once we filed this, it won't be there anyway. But remember to cap that free edge to keep that colour there. So moving on to the pinky, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and we're going to apply the Time for Wine around that cover pink that we've got there. I will then come in and file this as well so that we've got a nice sharp point and then I'll come back to you with the next steps. Okay, so we'll move on to the thumb while that pinky finger is having time to set up. And what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to try and do a full cover with the stamping design. And I'm coming in with that white that I've mixed up so that it's not like a full white, but obviously we're using a white tip at the moment, so it will look like a full colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a large bead and we're going to blend that down over the whole of that nail. 
Now you want to try and be quick when you're doing this because you're not wanting your acrylic to set up before you can get that stamping mat into it. So again, I'm going to roll from one side to the other and push down with some pressure. So it's kind of like pulling that mat down so that you're stretching that mat slightly so that those imprints can go right into it. And this one worked out a lot better, but again, I didn't manage to reach to the very, very bottom of this nail. I think I'm just holding it slightly squint because the design's going squint itself, but with practice, this will look so much better. So I'm again going to come in with that time for a wine and we're just going to brush that over with quite a wet bead just so that it seeps in between all those cracks and crevices. While that layer is quite wet, still we're going to come in and just add some of those glitter hearts on again. And I'm not doing this in any particular pattern. I'm just trying to cover over those areas that I made a mistake on and never pulled the mat far enough down. So don't worry if you make mistakes. It's great for trying this on these display tips. And lockdown is the perfect time to be trying new things. Because if you make mistakes, you've then got time to fix it before you work on any clients. Anyway, so once those glitter hearts are applied, I will come in and cap this in clear acrylic and then we'll move back onto the pinky. So that acrylic will have time to set now on the pinky so we're going to come in and file that so we've got a nice sharp edge and then we're going to come in with that milky colour and we're just going to do another triangle shape but this time it's going to have more of a point and then again we're going to have to leave this to set up and then what I'll do is I'll come in with my file quickly and then we'll go in with that perfect cover up cover colour again sorry I'm speaking gobbledygook today. Anyway, I'm just going to speed this section up because I've explained what I'm doing and then I'll come back and show you the finished design. So once that acrylic was all set, I did come in and file these into shape and now I'm just removing all that dust with my dust brush and then I will come in again with some... I'm only using isopropyl alcohol at the moment because I had my sponge but usually I'd come in with some acetone and a lint-free wipe just to smooth out that top surface. Once that's all done, we're going to come in with our top coat and it's entirely up to you if you use a matte or if you use a shiny top coat. I've done both because... When I'm taking pictures of these, it didn't show up the design very well. So there will be a picture showing you both. And then once this is done and cured in the lamp for 30 seconds, that is this set finished. As I say, 
I need practice with doing that with the 3D map. I'm still quite happy that it worked and that I tried it. I hope you have enjoyed it guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.